Hello everyone, this is Shauna coming to you again from my home office. This is a very special book chat. This marks my 12th book chat of isolation. This Sunday, Lord willing, I'll be coming out with a video that talks more about what life's been like for the last 12 weeks for us. But um, this is my book chat, as I mentioned. So at this time, let me share my screen, except I need to open the file first. That's always a helpful thing to do. So, um, as I mentioned, I've been reading my shelves quite a lot. Um, and it's been uh, increasingly a little bit of a struggle to find a book that I own, a physical book that I own, that I haven't read. But I do have a few more, and a few more um, uh, e-books. So there'll be more books. This day. So let me the file open. This is the Amber Room by Steve Barry. Um, this is a thriller slash adventure slash um, thievery novel. It reminds me of The Da Vinci Code. It also reminds me of um, things a little bit like Indiana Jones, but for regular people. Um, this story focuses on a historically real phenomenon. It's a, um, a Nazi treasure that was taken from um, from Germany and Czechoslovakia repeatedly. It was in Russia for a while. It was in Catherine's Palace. It's the, uh, the Amber Room. It's a room that was supposedly paneled with globs of amber. Uh, that is basically fossilized resin. And the story focuses on the real Amber Room and the German, um, the German, shall we say, fixation on stealing back treasures and profiting from them on the open markets. The story... Um, focuses on the characters trying to find the Amber Room, crack the code, and stop some murderous people in the process. It's a very fast-paced novel. Um, it's not the best well-written. It has a lot of repetition. It has uh, some pretty significant um, unbelievabilities. It's not implausible, but the the main characters are um, a judge and a lawyer who are divorced, but who agree to come together to do this case, and they actually end up doing a lot of the heavy grunt work. So it's real people placed in very implausible situations. I still enjoyed the story. It is quite violent and there are um, quite a few explicit sexual references in here. So um, I've read worse than this, but that kind of knocks the overall quality of the story in the book down for me. I, um, I think I initially gave this four stars. Now I think I might give it three and a half, but it's definitely worth reading. It's not worth seeking out, I don't think. But if you're looking for a fast-paced, diverting read, if you want a read that's going to take you somewhere else, it may not be the best literary quality, but will get you out of your own head, you can try this book. Um, I'm sure there are better options out there, but uh, but this is the book for this week. The book was published 
by Ballantyne in 2003. And you can find it um, as a Kindle edition or an Audible audiobook. I happen to have a physical copy. Um, but apparently, Steve Berry is quite prolific and he has several other series. So at some point, I may check them out. But that's all I have for now. Um, I'll be back later this week with another type of video where we put it all together. Meanwhile, enjoy the first 12 book chats. Um, I put them in a playlist. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. See what other books I've read over this isolation period. Hope you're all safe, everyone. Hope you're all healthy. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.